Demarcus <laughs> Ware is better than these two individuals. Okay? Like, how do these voters not think Bryant Young and Richard Seymour, Demarcus Ware was not better than both of them? Yeah, and, and listen. I, I understand Richard Seymour won Super Bowls, okay? But so Demarcus Ware ended up getting a Super Bowl. Richard, Rich, I don't want to be the guy that's downplaying Dick Seymour because it's not about it's he, less about was, downplaying these he was guys incredible and just the oversight to not put demarcus Ware in is i think pretty unforgivable by the hall of fame voters in this situation okay so let's go down down the list here i i don't think like dick vermeil and art mcnally who's the ref like that's coach and ref i don't think they're in the same category so i don't think you could just take out dick vermeil and put in no, Demarcus Ware. No, uh, so, like, no, of the so players, I'm, I'm specifically looking at the two defensive guys. Okay, that got okay. in over him, Bryant Young and Richard Seymour, right? And I mean, Leroy Butler as well. I don't. And Brian Broadus, who was with both guys, was talking earlier today. He was with Leroy Butler when they won a Super Bowl in Green Bay, and he was with Darren Woodson when he came over and was with the Cowboys. He has said he thinks Darren Woodson's a better player than Leroy Butler. We can't even get Darren Woodson to be a finalist. Right. Yet Leroy Butler's in. Yeah. So now DeMarcus Ware, and, and I understand being a first ballot Hall of Famer is a great honor, but he is better than both of those other defensive linemen that just got in. And listen, I, if I'm a Vikings fan, I'm saying the same thing about Jared Allen. I, I would not disagree with like, that. If, go look at DeMarcus Ware's and Jared Allen's numbers, and you'll be like, wait, which one's which? Yep. They're the practically the exact same. So uh, I think that that is a that is a fair criticism, uh, but it's like it's tough because I think like Tory Holt, Andre Johnson, Reggie Wayne, Patrick Willis, Devin Hester; these are all guys that deserve to be in there. So we're obviously going to be focusing on a, a quote unquote sort of our guy. Yes, but um, I also think he's the best of the bunch. But he is; it, he he absolutely is. I mean, Demarcus Ware was. Probably the most consistent pass rusher of his era. Uh, of his era, and yeah. you're still seeing like it eight, now. Eight with, to ten year stretch of right. just straight dominance. And it's not. It's not like Demarcus Ware made Von Miller right. Von Miller was the second overall pick in the draft. He certainly was a world of talent. But Demarcus Ware certainly helped develop and mold Von Miller into somewhat of the great player that he is today. Certainly was able to share a lot of what he was able to gain from the sport and pass that on to Von Miller. And so Von's been able to take what Ware taught him, plus his unique skill set, and he's now carried that over and been one of the most dominant pass rushers of his era. I mean, I just, I don't see it with DeMarcus Ware. And, the, and there are often times, you know, I'll, I'll admit it, you know, I wear the Cowboy goggles, and that's fine. But in this situation... And think, the Cowboy game day thong. 100%. But in this situation, I think anybody who's just a fan of football, when you look at DeMarcus Ware... And his accomplishments throughout his career in the NFL um, with two different teams, and you compare it up against Richard Seymour and Bryant Young and these guys that got in over him, DeMarcus Ware was a better football player. And that's what it's all about when you're voting in the Hall of Fame class. They left out a superior player. And eventually Ware's going to get in, but this class is probably the one where I've had the biggest issue with compared to any other Hall of Fame class, I think, in the history of my lifetime. I agree with you. I agree with you. This, this is a bit of a downer. There's not much. There's really not much sex, uh, sex appeal. No, I think it's outside of, of Dick Vermeil. Now, Dick is sexy. Uh, but other than that, I mean, Baselli 100% deserved uh, it. Baselli, no doubt. And then, I mean, I think Richard Seymour did as well. Bryant Young, and it's tough because these guys are all incredible. It's not a slight to them. But Bryant Young and Leroy Butler, it's hard for me to imagine, were better players than DeMarcus Ware and Jared Allen. Ooh.